and we're going to be using a program called Flash Earth to do this. Flash? Flash! Flash. Oh. Savior yeah, of the, the universe! universe. <laughs> Sorry about that. We didn't mean to torture you that way. But yeah, there's a neat web page called Flash Earth right. that uh, allows you to pick and choose which kind of map you want to look at for which version. And it, well, let's show them. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've launched Opera here just because Opera has this cool little feature in view. And then full screen. And so now if I zoom out, we're in a full screen view of we the don't see all those toolbars. That's kind of nice. Right. And especially since we're exporting this to video. So this is flasherth.com. Right. You want to go to it. It's free. And uh, what we have here is um, you see um, all of the world. And let's, uh, we have a few things here. We have a crosshair that you can look around and find places on. And over here, you have a search Type bar. Location. Okay. And so let's zoom in on here and, okay. Let's see, search for a location. And now let's, uh, do you like Egypt? Do you like um, pyramids? Let's just try Athens, Ohio, for example. That's, okay. That's where we are. Uh oh, didn't get an Ohio in. I think we went too far. Went to Athens, Greece, Oops. maybe. Yeah, type in Athens, comma, Ohio, or OH. Oh. There we go. There we go. That looks a little bit more like home. Okay. And then what about zooming in? So uh, if we wanted to zoom in on this map to try to take a look at it. Okay. What I'm going to do is this plus and minus bar up here. I'm circling it right now, and I'm going to zoom in on that. Good. And what you can do is you can grab it. Just and grab the slider in. bar and slide it up? And okay. Oh, no. It's getting pixelated. Oh, so that means... But give it a second. I think it... Whoops. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I just took us to the Oh, no. This happens sometimes. It does occasionally crash uh, when uh, you try to slide it too fast too soon. So we have to go back out to the, the location bar. So let's right. zoom back. So right now we're in the middle of the ocean because I messed <laughs> up. So we'll click on that and try that again. Yeah, well, I find oftentimes when you first set this up, you have to uh, don't slide it too fast or it kind of freaks out the, the web page. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's still a web page. But there we are. So we're centered in on there. And then to zoom it in, you can slide it in or just hit the plus button. We'll just hit the plus button in this case and zoom or in. You can use your keyboard, the plus key. Okay. And so I'm going to go a little bit slower this time, so hopefully I don't take us okay, out to that's space. Good. Now, we're looking at Google Maps right now. Right. And uh, so that's certainly one thing that's kind of, you know, helpful a little bit. Uh, but we might want to, you know, the th key thing is up here in the upper left-hand corner. Let's um, zoom in on that just a little bit. This is the thing where it lets you choose. These are the map choices that you've got. You've got Google Maps, Microsoft Arial, Microsoft Labels. That gives you like street addresses, Yahoo Maps. So let's just try to click on the Yahoo Maps and see what we get. Okay. So like Google Maps isn't giving us much detail of a small town like Athens, but look at this. We're getting a lot of detail. I can count the trees, quite frankly. And uh, so we're getting a lot more detail in there. So that's really nice way to go. Okay. And but, um, uh, the compass feature, I noticed up in the upper corner. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, here's this compass. And what's cool about this is you can rotate the world around to see what it looks like from a different point of view. So, of course, the map's going to always center on north. Yeah. And then, well, let's, let's try. But what if I'm coming into Athens from the north. I might want to view it from to south right. to see what so, it would look like for the street I'd be coming in on. So what I'm doing is I'm spinning this compass up here at the top right and I have it reversed to south and now I'm coming in off of this street and now this is going to give me the layout of the town and how it would look like if I'm coming if in I'm down leaving, here. Or if I'm leaving campus, this gives or me leaving. the view of what it would be like if I was heading out and going up the screen. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of a nice little feature that you can rotate that a little bit. Yeah, course, it is. You could literally turn the world upside down. The whole world is in your hands. <laughs> With Flash Earth. Okay. Zoom out there on that one. Okay. Let's try another place, something a little more interesting. What if we were to type in something like the uh, pyramids of Egypt, the Great Pyramids? Ooh. If we were to type in that, will it actually do something like that? Actually, well, you misspell it. That'll certainly make a, a, comp, a, a problem with that one. Pyramids. Pyramids. There we go. Oh, and there we go. So it actually is smart enough to pick up some of that. Now, sometimes I've found that this doesn't actually pick up every little landmark. Right. Like my house doesn't show up, but, <laughs> you know, Dilly's house, you know, famous and all, but not that famous. Right. So the, big, the pyramids of Egypt do actually show up. And uh, if, you, if, if we can zoom in, you'll, you'll, you'll zoom right on them. It's got the crosshairs right on them. And there you go. There's the pyramids. Now, here's a great example where we tried looking at different maps. You may get a better view. Let's mm. do the Google Maps first. Okay. And see if they give this a second to crisp up. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That, that is excellent. Now you have a lot crisper view of the Great Pyramids. And you can just, can, now, now to go, if I want to look down farther to the left, how would I do that? Just What you do is, it's a simple, like, a grab 
and drag. So click so and drag. Right. Your crosshair is always in the center of the screen. You so you click here. And then and just I'm drag it up and then you move around within the map. It'll automatically right. redraw all the additional spots that you need to see. Right. Okay. And that's actually my favorite pyramid, the little one. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Now, see, the great potential about this that you see is that you could use this for educational purposes. If you're doing some kind of a report on the Great Pyramids, you want an aerial shot of this, there you go. If you wanted to point out how the pyramids are meant to mirror the belt of Orion, you've got an aerial photo of them. This is a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. But now, what if we were to look at one of the other ones, like if we were to go to the Microsoft Aerial uh, view? Okay, Microsoft Aerial. Oh, it doesn't give us that kind of detail. Let's kind of zoom out a little bit, maybe. So we zoom out, it doesn't give it to us. So what right. if we tried the uh, Yahoo Maps? What do we get with that one? Remember, that was the one we were in there originally. We go. It's if a little, we zoom in there. It gets a little fuzzy. So basically, you need to play around with the maps that you're mm -hmm. using and figure out which one works the best for you. See right there? Yeah, and it's about on, as far as you go. And Google, we were a little closer. So play around with your maps and mm -hmm. see which ones work the best. Um, different locations have different resolutions. Yeah. Like, um, you know, obviously right now Google's better for the pyramids in Egypt, but Yahoo was better for Athens, Ohio. So. Now, one of the things I found in playing around with this was a security issue that, I, that you may find with looking at some of these maps. For instance, if you, if you go to the location down here, we type in uh, Den Helder. Uh, Holland, if you're not familiar with that area, a little small town there in Holland, over in Europe. Oh, we had an uh, yeah. apostrophe. There we go. Sometimes my. And Den Helder's two words. You have to put a space between Den and Helder. Oh, I probably shows you how multi. I should have I should have typed that in. I guess. Sorry about that. I've actually been there, so that's how I know how to Capital spell Capital H. It. Two L's in Holland. <laughs> Tim, he is a college student. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, there we do we get this, and uh, let me take the mouse here for a little bit yeah. and uh, show some of this. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit on that and uh, trying to get to, let me zoom out, uh, I'm trying to get to the, uh, the docks. And for some reason, I'm not seeing the... Try a different map, maybe. Let me try typing this in again. Let me grab the, if I can borrow that from you for a second. I'm going to try making sure we got the right place. It certainly looks like the right place. Three mistakes shouldn't really. There we go. Oh, it's right up there. So I don't know why. I just, my, my brain wasn't looking. Right here's the piers. So if I was to come in here and I was to zoom in on that and then pull it on over. Hmm. And I'm going to switch to uh, Google Maps so I can get a little more detail here. There we go. Now, I don't know if you can make this out. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can really see this. Um, but you can see how some of the stuff is very crisp over here. And this is all pixelated. I'm going to zoom in even just a little bit more where you see how this is all obviously done some little neat little trick in Photoshop. But up here, this looks very crisp. I can practically see the lines on the soccer field over there. And this is for security reasons. This is a Navy base, and so that's why they block it out. So you know, you, some, asp some things you may not be able to find. I think the White House has also done this way. Um, although I found something kind of interesting. When I was looking there, I looked at another naval base right here in the United States. So, so I'm going to go down here real quick, and I'll just type in Norfolk, Virginia. And for some reason, on these, when you go to zoom in, you can actually get in a lot of detail on what you've got down here. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to zoom in. And we're seeing a lot of detail on this Navy base, a lot of detail. Can I actually read the numbers on those ships? Uh, just about. You can certainly count the cars in the parking lot. So <laughs> you may find that's a little bit different. You'll also find that some of the maps uh, may be under different times. Uh, that so They're taken at different times. Mm -hmm. And so you may get different dates or pictures based on when a new building was constructed or not constructed. I find they're often about a year or more out of date. So be aware of that. And, and it's great because at a glance, you can click the different ones to find the detail that you're looking for for the area you're looking at without having to go and launch each web page. And I've noticed one flaw as I've played with it. Sometimes you'll get a map that will start to load and then it will start it will continue flashing that loading map um, status at the top what I've done to fix that problem is I've switched maps between maybe Yahoo or Google or Microsoft mm -hmm. Aerial just switch the map and then it will load really quick and then I could switch back to the map I was using right. I'm not sure why that problem happens same thing with zooming out into the ocean yeah. so go out there explore the earth right now we're gonna explore how to get that data from one computer onto another computer uh, with Brandon Sell. Brandon?